Hey guys, my name is Yasmina and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to tell you to write your book in 2022. Write your book this year. If you're one of these people who have always had an idea for a book or have always wanted to write a book, just never really gotten around to doing it, I want you to take this video as a sign and write that book this year. So here are my 10 tips to finally write your book in 2022. Number one, and I'm sorry, I know some people don't like hearing this, but plan out what you're going to write. It helps so much to get you started and so you don't get stuck after 10,000 words and then give up. I've been there. I used to not plan out my books, but once I started doing it and I realized how much it helps me, it changed everything. I actually started finishing books and it doesn't have to be a full outline. It can be a few key moments that you know from the get-go you want to reach. It can be linking some of those events together. It can even just be some really cool scenes that you have in your head and you want to get to. Inevitably, your story will change as you start writing it. But it's so important, in my opinion, to just have that roadmap, to know where you're going. And I think that can help you a lot. Now, there are all sorts of resources out there to help plan out your book. I have a few videos of myself about how to structure an outline using the Save the Cat 15 beat sheet method, which I will link down in the description of this video and in a pinned comment if you're interested in checking that out. But there's all sorts of worksheets and outline workbooks out there. So just give it a go and plan out that book. Make yourself some scene cards or chapter cards or, you know, that outline that you just written. Maybe print it out in like small cards, one seat at a time. And once you sit down and start working for that day, just have that one card with you. No more than that. Don't have your entire outline in front of you because again, I think that can be a little bit intimidating and it might actually stop your progress. Just have one single thing, one single goal that you're going to work on for that writing session for that week and keep that one scene card with you until you get through that scene. And these scenes do not have to be in chronological order. Now, I am mostly a chronological writer. I do like to write chronologically. It just makes the most sense to me. But that can also put me in a writing slump sometimes. Maybe, you know, even with that scene card, I'm not really sure how to write that scene. So I'll just get stuck and think about that scene forever and ever and never move forward. So another tip is to skip around the story. If you're feeling stuck, look through those scene cards and pick whichever scene you're the most excited to write about because that's what you're gonna be best at writing in that moment. Try not to get stuck on the scene if it's not working. You can always come back to it later. Like I keep saying, you can always fix stuff later. And try to find the cookie of each scene. This is something I learned from Susan Dennard. I will link some articles down in the description that she wrote about this. But to be excited about writing a scene, try to find the cookie for that scene, which basically means find what excites you about writing that scene. Is it a specific moment between two characters who have never met before that you've been writing separately and now it's finally the moment when they finally meet eyes and it's, you know, all sparks and everything. What is it about this scene that makes you want to write? And try to have at least one thing, at least one cookie for every scene. Start slow and don't panic. <laughs> Writing a book is hard work. It, it really is. And no one is going to tell you. No one who has ever written a book is going to tell you otherwise. But try not to panic. Try to keep calm and just take it, literally take it one word at a time. That's how you get to the end. That's how you finish a book one word at a time. Try not to worry that maybe something isn't working properly or you're not really liking the sentences that you're putting out. All of that can be fixed later. Your main goal is to get to the end, to write out this story. Most people's first drafts are pretty bad and most people go through multiple rounds of rewrites and edits to get to the idea that they had in their head on paper. It's not easy to just word vomit that out. It takes a lot of work. Don't stress yourself out about it and let yourself suck. Like let your first draft be trash. The important thing is to finish it. You can fix all of your mistakes later. 
please don't edit as you go just right because again that will only get you set back it will start making you question things and maybe you'll start not liking what you're writing and you just get back into that bad cycle try to just always move forward this is something I've been preaching for a very long time, but that is to create a writing routine. Writing, just like anything, is a skill and it's a habit. And if you keep at it, you will continue writing. You will make progress. But if you're not going to put in the time and schedule in the time and prioritize doing it, then it's always just going to be kind of chaotic and you're never really going to be fully in it. So my advice is to create a writing routine. It doesn't have to be every day. I'm not going to advocate writing every day because not everyone can do that and that's totally fine. But say you only want to write two nights a week, then set aside, you know, an hour, half an hour, however much time you have, you know, after your job and after everything else in your life, set aside that one one hour where your only goal is to write and that creates a really nice habit and to go along with it you know you can maybe put on some music just set the scene like light a candle whatever you like to do that'll put you in that mental space and you'll know that now it's writing time and also tell the people in your life that you're doing this you know so that they don't suddenly burst into your office or wherever you're writing and start demanding your attention when you just want to write I'm also a big advocate of tracking your writing progress. So depending on which software you use to write, there are different ways to do this. I mostly use Scrivener and in Scrivener you can set a writing goal. And every time you write in that project, you can sort of, you know, see a little loading bar kind of to just sort of track your progress. And to me, it really motivates me and it motivates me to fill, you know, that bar and to get to my goal. You can also have daily goals or, you know, session goals let's just say you want to write 500 words in this writing session this evening and you're not going to get up from your desk until you've hit 500 words no matter if that's 10 minutes 30 minutes or three hours and also remember to reward yourself once you've hit that goal. So say you wanted to write 50,000 words of this novel and then you're calling it done. That's a fantastic goal to have, but make sure to reward yourself. And even better, make smaller goals because 50,000 words can still sound pretty intimidating because it is, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work to reach 50,000 words. So maybe say every 10,000 words you write, get yourself your favorite snack, go on a little walk, just celebrate somehow, however you feel like celebrating, but just just remember that all of this is an achievement and no one is telling you to write a book. It's something that you want to do. And I think it can be really hard to do something like that and to keep going when there's so many other things in our lives that require our attention. So you might not feel like it's worth doing or you might feel a bit discouraged. Reward yourself. No one else is probably going to do it, but you should do it. If you want to write this book, make sure you're your biggest supporter. Participate in writing challenges. You're not alone in the writing community. There's so many people doing this. There's so many people writing books all the time. And I think it can be really beneficial and really motivating to follow other people and to participate in writing challenges. If you've not heard of NaNoWriMo, I will link a video about it down in the description. It takes place every November, but also every April and every June with Camp NaNoWriMo. And that's essentially a month where most writers will try to write write a book in one month and that just sets up so many amazing opportunities and challenges and writing sprints and so many people coming together to achieve a similar purpose and it's just such a great community and I think you should definitely try out some of this stuff because I do think it really helps and it encourages you to keep going and if you don't want to be alone, find a writing buddy. So like I mentioned, all these writing communities, these writing sprints, writing live streams, there's so many people out there writing and trying to write a book, maybe at the same time as you are, to try to find someone on the internet that you can sort of talk to and exchange progresses, exchange, keep yourself accountable. I think it's important to have someone that keeps you accountable either, especially if they're also a writer, because I think it's a lot easier if both of you are trying to do the same thing and so you're gonna have someone to talk to about these things and maybe someone to push you when you do get stuck when you do feel like stopping and there's lots of places where you can find writing buddies like i said the NaNoWriMo forums are a great place because again you're not the only one hoping to find a writing buddy there there's all sorts of groups on facebook on discord on reddit you know twitter youtube <laughs> just all the social media platforms you can think of there's going to be a writing community there and there's going to be other 
other writers looking for writing buddies. And finally, how fun. <laughs> Writing a book, I think, should be fun. And yes, it's a lot of hard work, but if you're not on the contract or something, you're only doing this because you want to write, because it's something you want to accomplish. So it should be fun. Try to have fun with it. Try to not take it too seriously. And if it feels like it's starting to stress you out and gives you anxiety, take a step back from it, because I don't think you're gonna be your best writer if you keep pushing in those moments. And also maybe, try out different things, try out different writing locations. If you've been sitting at your desk trying to write every evening and that kind of doesn't work anymore, you know, move somewhere else in the house or move outside, go to a park or something. Try to change your location. I find that a lot of the time that really helps me. And also try out different writing methods or writing tools. I make a lot of videos by writing tools, so you can find a lot of examples on my channel. But if you're used to writing on a computer, maybe take out a notebook and try writing writing by hand, try writing on a different word processor, you know, try a digital typewriter. There are so many different ways you can write. Dictation is also a really interesting one. Try to keep it fresh and interesting to you because of course it's you who has to keep finding it fun and interesting to keep going and finish that draft. I think these are nice little sort of hacks that might help you keep going when the writing gets hard. And yes, it will get hard. It absolutely will get hard. And I just want to say that that's totally normal and it's totally normal and valid to stop at 30,000 words, look at what you've done and think, oh my god, what am I doing? This is trash. We've all been there. But I just want to tell you that you should keep going even if you think it's trash because at the end of it, you will have a book. You will have written a book and not a lot of people can say that. I think a lot of people want to write a book or they have this idea that it might be cool to one day write a book, but very few people actually go about doing it and even less actually get to the end. So it's a huge achievement if you actually manage to do that and you should be super proud of yourself. And like I said, reward yourself. Now there's a lot more work to be done after that, the first draft, like honestly, that's just the beginning, but that's the hardest part is the writing and finishing that first draft. If you can do that, trust me, you can do the rest of the process. So go out there and write that book. And if you do decide to write that book in 2022 and you do start doing it, let me know down in the comment section below and let's have a talk about it. And I'm going to try and encourage you along the way and push you to finish it as well. Because like I said, starting is the hardest part. Finishing it is the second hardest part. All right, so click here for my latest writing vlog of my own writing journey. And click here for my writing tools, best writing tools playlist. If if you're curious and if you want to find some new fun tools and software to play with. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye!